my name is sai i'll be handling this subject and probably one more subject is there it is called ebcl so these two subjects i'll be handling for you if you guys have any questions any doubts you guys can directly reach do not wait for the end of the class feel free to discuss it in the class itself done so let's start people the first subject securities laws and capital market yes sir so once we are done with this subject people you guys will not get any knowledge of capital market don't think once we we, we are done with this subject from tomorrow i can go and trade in shares and all you will get zero knowledge yes sir why sir we thought we are getting a security loss means we can trade no huh? we can or we cannot you will not get anything why people the emphasis is on this word what is that word so what we'll be teaching is law not how to trade yes sir but in the new syllabus the pattern is a little changed whatever is coming in uh, year 2023 so they i mean 2024 for them they have tried to change it a little they have put capital market first and then come security laws so they will have little more of practical knowledge that is how does the stock market work and all of that but nevertheless even for you guys wherever it is required even though it is more or it is not there in syllabus we will be doing it so that you guys can understand the concepts better clear all of you okay how are slcm and ebcl subjects in general like is it manageable or is it tricky uh slcm and ebcl ebcl is a uh, a very theoretical subject by the time i start ebcl people uh, first thing slcm is easy nothing to worry in slcm people okay now you can expect uh, two type of questions first question people is your uh, you know theoretical questions or case based questions like case based questions you guys by now you guys will have a fair idea scenario based questions they will give meaning directly they will not ask you what is security laws then what will they ask they will give you say for example the harshad mehta case now what will be a decision what will be the answer so it is called as case based question that is first possible question the second possible question is called as your practical question what is practical question people numericals will be asked in capital market you can expect at least if it's a very easy attempt you can expect 10 marks to come from numericals if it's a difficult attempt you can expect 20 marks to come from numericals the numericals will it be easy sir the numericals are not there in your syllabus at all meaning sir what are you saying sir that is what i am saying people if you look it in your book now how to expect a numerical there is no i cannot say there is a formula i cannot say there is a see they would have just given you what is what and they will put that into a practical based question so completely in your if i take your icsi module only you cannot see any practical questions you cannot see even one practical question but will they ask in the exam sir they will ask easy attempt you will get 10 marks at least as a practical question that is numericals you will have to solve a problem clear ah yes ah sir how we will do people will be solving enough questions in the class like enough we'll keep one designated day for numericals only so we will see at least uh, you know some 10 to 15 different types of problems that can be expected but why cannot we predict like if i take the pattern what are the different types of questions that can be asked based on that we have tried to create more and more questions i get in the point so if i look at your module itself you will not get even one single practical question is clear all of you so this is with regards to uh, capital market easy to approach nothing to worry it will not be as difficult as company law there are no so many concepts and all to remember manageable slcm next comes your next subject that is called ebcl when we are doing about that i'll tell you more but for ebcl save your memory do not waste it when you are watching a movie and all do not by heart the songs and all save it for ebcl you would need more of your memory why people how many chapters are there 24 chapters are there what is the beauty about ebcl all 24 chapters belong to different acts meaning in your uh, first module you guys had something called as company law 
कंपनी लॉ इज जस्ट वन एक्ट कंपनी इज एक्ट टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन ईबीसीएल यू हैव ट्वेंटी फोर डिफरेंट एक्ट रेडी हा नो सर आई सर लीव सर सो फर्स्ट थिंग पीपल देर आर टू थिंग्स इन लाइफ फर्स्ट थिंग इफ यू गई स्क्रिप्ट इफ यू गई यू नो मेक नॉइस If the other thing will change, then go and do strike every day. You know, make more noise because you know that the other thing will change. But there is second thing where no matter how much you cry, no matter how much you voice out for, the other thing will never change. That is your ICSI syllabus. So get used to it because there will come a day. I'm telling you know you guys will feel no sir, it's not happening sir. We are not able to take it. You have to take it. Why? do not just see now your attendance for this batch is 100 that is this what is there in the attendance sheet that's what i asked why is it only some 20 or 30 here now just i'm not talking only from 100 point of view now if i look at all over india 1 lakh people will write now when everyone are doing even this 100 have to do as yes or no so get used to it accept it when you accept it the sooner you accept it the better for you so that you know that there is no way out you guys have to study you guys have to read you guys have to prepare well that's the only way getting the point all of you yes, yes. then now nah. okay ha huh, we'll see ebcl more when we start ebcl i'll tell you okay security laws and capital market people so uh plan your study a little wisely because in your complete uh, slcm there are 16 chapters technically there are 15 chapters only because there is 9th and 10th chapter which which is merged now now it's only one chapter so technically if you see it is only 15 chapters in this 15 chapters people 13 chapters fetches you 70 marks the last two chapters will fetch you 30 marks in that last two chapters this first the 16th chapter last chapter is hardly 8 pages or 10 pages this 15 chapter is your game changer meaning people If you guys have seen setting up of business entities, there was a chapter called as IBC Insolvency. Now you tell the exam is over. The part C of uh, setting up of business entities will it save your life or not? Yes. That will save your life. Now in the same way, people, the 15th chapter also will act as the same. It is like a heart of SLCM. Why people? You guys can expect if it's a very easy attempt, you guys can accept at least 25 marks from. 15th chapter alone so how much effort will you guys put in for 15th chapter i don't know but it is left to you but what i am telling is from only 15th chapter you guys can expect 25 marks yes sir if it's a difficult chapter they will increase the 16 16 chapter weightage 16 chapter uh, it's not difficult but it's a little drier to remember everything might be a little difficult that's the reason i am telling if it's a difficult attempt they will ask two questions from 16 chapter it is a little drier but uh, what is easier is your 15th chapter but the concepts are little more but it is worth getting the point all of you yes then ha uh, uh, online is it clear not audible as the class goes by you will close your ear don't worry is clear ha uh? ha uh, done Yes, people. So this is your chapter weightage, and this is how it will be asked. Now individually, I cannot give you the breakup, but focus more on fifteen chapter. Is this clear, all of you? Yes. Okay, done. Ah. Ah. Any doubts? You guys can. Any doubts? The. It need not be for subject. Any other doubts? Casually. Casually, any other doubts? No doubts, sir. No doubt, sir. Hey, there are some rules in the class, da. So, people, if anyone's phone ring, Allah, it can be in general mode. We want all of your phones to be in general mode. Don't put in silent mode. Allah, no, no. It it should be in general mode. Why, people? If at all, by mistake, if any noise comes from your phone. if your phone makes any sound why sir it need not be only someone calling you it can be alarm it can be message it can be any tone people if it makes some noise you guys have to sing 
in the point uh, people voice is not my voice is not good sir i'm not feeling well i don't know the lyrics i don't know the language is not at all an excuse whatever it is you guys have to sing get in the point uh, all of you agree uh, that day don't do sar 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 and all get in the point you guys have to sing 100% uh, so put your phones on general mode silent mode alla vibrate illa vibrate is also sound only noda yes or no okay here ah uh, okay so let's start your first chapter people securities contract regulation act so uh, broadly people speaking in your uh, syllabus if you see there are something called, do you guys know difference between act rules regulations what is what do you mean by now can you see this securities contract regulation act if you look at the fourth chapter it says sebi icdr regulation 2009 there is something called as act there is something called as regulation we'll be seeing there is something called as rules what is the difference between act rules regulations rules for support the act uh, rules support act regulations support rule rule act triangle, triangle. Uh, any, anything people triangle. act is always passed by the parliament okay act is always made by a parliament people meaning you guys elect no recently vote and all you guys do know da, that day you give whatsapp status you give message to the public i have done my duty idiot what have you done <laughs> you guys do know all of that yes or no so people whenever you guys elect your mps or mlas now these people go to the parliament and they debate and they make a law whatever is the law made by the parliament that is called as an act got it huh? now if i look at the act what will be there in the act act always tells you what to do got it huh? now for example if i have to explain this in a layman's language imagine you get a heart attack if i look at the act act says rush to the hospital because it is called as a cardiac arrest yes sir okay now this is given in the act now what will be given in the rules in the rules it will in the rules they will say how to do the cardiac surgery or cardiac arrest ah okay now people act says what to do now if i look at the rules it says how to do what do you mean people rules always emphasize on procedure meaning what sir for example if at all you go uh, now say for example if i if i want to get listed what is listed listed company you guys call something called listed companies what is listed company listed company securities are listed with a stock exchange this is called as listed company now if at all i want to get listed now if i look at uh, there is the act we'll see that is your first chapter it says if a company wants to get listed on a stock exchange what is the procedure sir now what to do is listing how to do is procedure so securities contract regulation act says if a company wants to get listed you guys have to enter an agreement with a stock exchange that's all if you enter into an agreement with stock exchange you are called a listed company but what and all you have to do with stock exchange just if i sign is it sufficient no you guys have to give certain information now that procedure is given in securities contract regulation rules now always act tells you what to do rules tells you how to do now what is this regulations people now if you look at your index after your first second third chapter from here everything sales regulations can you see this everything is regulation what is regulation what is regulation da act tells you what to do rules tells you how to do what is regulations eh? what to follow what to follow means da act and rule tells you what not to follow ha huh? huh. what is regulation always remember every act 
every act would have created a special body to take care of that act. Correct? Huh? Every act. Huh? In India, there are banks. Huh? Who will take care of bank? RBI. RBI. Now, RBI will know how to monitor, how to make personal rules so that the banks can function better. You guys will call something called SLR ratio. You would have heard of that. Huh? What is that? Cash reserve ratios. SLR, CRR, somewhere here and there you would have heard. Now, who makes all this? RBI makes all this. So, what does central government do? I will just make a skeleton. I will just make a skeleton. I will give it to you. Whoever is the body formed for that skeleton, they will fill the muscles. They will fill the blood veins. Now, in the same way, for capital market, they formed basic acts and they left it. Now, who filled the muscles? Who filled the life into this particular thing? It is called as SEBI. A specialized body formed for capital market. Now they will govern everything with regards to capital market in India. Now SEBI knows what is required so that a company can function properly. There will be no fraud. For example, everything. Why was SEBI formed? In 1992, you guys would have seen something called Scam 1992. You have seen that series on huh? Netflix. Scam 1992. Forget. Harshad Mehta. Heard of him. Huh? Harshad Mehta. Someone like that. Harshad Mehta. Hey, your uncle Allah. Huh? Harshad Mehta. People, Harshad Mehta is the main person for the capital market to develop in India. Why? He did all possible frauds. All possible frauds a person can think of. However, you can illegally earn money in capital market he has done. Even today, people will think, okay, how, how else I can do? He has done everything. On the day, in 1993, he was arrested. Yes, sir. In 2000 people, he passed away. In the year 2000, he passed away. On the day of his death, 72 cases were still pending on him. Meaning, still hearing had to happen. What do you mean by hearing? They will call you to the court. So, already he was there in jail for more than 5 years. Even in 2000, when he passed away, 72 cases were still not heard. What is a scam he did? In 1992, hey, 92, the value of the scam was 7,500 crores. Today, 7,500 is a bigger number. 92, 7,500 crores. What and all he should have known about stock market. And he made illegal money. What do you mean by illegal? No terrorism, no drugs and all. Legally, he did illegal money. For that you need brain. Da. Legally, to do illegal money, you need brain. Sir, motivate us. Sir, we, we also want to do. So, whatever he did, I repeat, whatever he did to cover that, Sebi started making regulations. Now, Sebi got to know what he did. To cover it, regulation. To cover it, regulation. So, that is called as regulations. Got a fair idea? So, who passes regulation? Whichever is the body created under the act, they will make the regulations. So, act and rules is always passed by the parliament. Regulations is always passed by the special body created for that particular act. Now, in case of bank, RBI will pass. In the case of stock market, SEBI will make regulations. Understood? Uh, for you, you have basic three acts and after that, everything are regulations. What a fair idea, all of you. You guys do not have in detail. What you guys have is like just like 14 or 13, that's all. But in detail, if you go, there are more than 50 regulations passed by SEBI. Total number of regulations. And why is it all there people? Just because of Harshad Mehta. Just because of Harshad Mehta. After Harshad Mehta, Harshad Mehta, under him there was one intern, junior. After Harshad Mehta, even this person also did scam. 3000 crores. So the team totally did 10,000 crores scam in 1995. Yes, after that, we have never seen such a bigger scam in Indian history. Sir, do you mean to say there are no scams at all in India now? I am not saying there is no scams at all. There are scams, but nothing which should, uh, you know, which you guys should be uh, scared of 
or something which you guys should be aware of nothing like that a individual will do he will make 15 20 crore he will be punished he cannot run away that is a maximum scams that is happening now is clear recently are you guys uh, following z z telefilms you know z z telefilms are there z yes you guys have this so sebi has issued a show cause notice on z the z chairman and his son they have done something they have done a, sebi has given a map of what these people have done that map even if you zoom in you guys cannot understand probably i'll show you after the break or something i'll show you what they have oh, at least what how it looks and all so recently this is going on uh, three days or four days news if possible try to follow so try to see a practical world how it is happening so that you guys can connect more to the classes as well clear arm yes arm then now okay that's your intro of act rule and regulation clear arm pakka na okay ha ah, now people if you look i told you three different words act rules and regulation now nothing will happen once you go home today you will not open the book tomorrow or day after when you open the book you guys will find something what sir how come this has two words regulation is also there act is also there ayo sir till now we didn't see now we are seeing how can the same thing have regulation how can it have act also then who passed it sebi ya parliament ya both together act sir mix it sir what sir people this regulation is not the regulation which we see here the regulation word used here is your generic english regulation what is that people here this means to govern regulation means what i regulate you what do you mean by that i govern you so that is the word used here this is not the regulation which we just saw that is not this word get in the point all of you yes okay ha huh? ha huh. amendment is something which is already existing you make changes to it regulation is something which a new law is brought into it all together for example lodr lodr is regulations sebi lodr now you will be seeing lodr more so lodr is a regulation in the point ah clear all of you any doubts da understanding ah okay. okay so let us start with the first chapter make your notes okay start writing da ha ah, chapter 1 da security contract regulation act scra going forward we will be referring to sakra sakra what is sakra ha ah? securities contract regulation act 1956 ha ah? 1956 Securities Contract Regulation Act, 1956. Sir, why do we need this law? Why Sakra? Scope of Sakra. What does this do? I'll be writing three. it gives procedure it gives procedure for it gives procedure for recognition of recognition of stock exchanges from central government or sebi listing of securities listing of securities of companies
on stock exchanges and uh, it deals with it deals with contracts in securities it deals with contracts in securities what do you mean by this operation of brokers in relation to in relation to purchase and sale of securities on behalf of investors on behalf of investors on behalf of investors rana ha ah, scope of sakra here and there easy attempt they can ask you like two marker three marker question wherever there is scope or objective of the act always remember straight away they will ask you a three marker question comment the scope of sakra comment the scope of sebi so objective of sebi you can expect a two marker or three marker question now these are called as direct questions clear okay now what is scope of sakra now what is a sakra it was passed by parliament securities contract regulation act now why was it passed people to cover these three things what are these three things first thing people it gives procedure for recognition of stock exchanges meaning you guys know listed companies what do you mean by listed companies a company goes and enters into a contract with a stock exchange it becomes a listed company so that from tomorrow you guys can trade in those securities that is called as listed company okay now where are they going and entering into, entering into a contract they are entering into a contract with a stock exchange if at all you guys want to start a stock exchange what is the procedure it is given in sakra meaning what now imagine tomorrow if you want to start a company now how to do it companies act give, gives you the procedure in the same way if you guys want to start a new stock exchange nse is there what are the stock exchanges you guys know da nse bse give me the third one da alla india yeah new york india da make in india da ha kelo kelo si ahmedabad stock exchange people there are more people kolkata stock exchange pune there is bangalore there is mangalore sir we knew only two nsc bsc now these are people you will be seeing they have nation wide trading terminals meaning no matter where you are you guys can trade in the securities that's the beauty of nsc and bsc are there more stock exchanges yes we have there were even more in the last 8 years close to 16 stock exchanges have shut down their operations best example bangalore stock exchange mangalore stock exchange you know mangalore these two stock exchanges have shut down their operations why obviously people when dmart is there do you guys go to nearby grocery store that's the beauty of nsc and bsc regional stock exchanges are very small in volume the number of people are very less so they were not able to maintain these stock exchanges so tomorrow can they again start yes they can start how procedure is given in sakra so always remember it's not day to day activity every day you will not see this happening but if at all something like this has to happen it is given here able to relate it that is what is given it gives procedure for recognition of stock exchanges who does it central government central government is way too busy Narendra Modi cannot do all of this. He has designated all that work to SEBI. So wherever you see central government now, that work has been delegated to SEBI now. Is clear? Ah, okay. Next one, people. Listing of securities. What is that? 
अनलिस्टेड कंपनी गेटिंग लिस्टिंग सो सर दैट लिस्टिंग प्रोसीजर वेर इज इट गिवन अगेन लिस्टिंग प्रोसीजर इज गिवन इन सक्रा तो टुमोरो इफ समवन वांट्स टू स्टार्ट अ स्टॉक एक्सचेंज वेर इज इट गिवन इट इज गिवन इन सक्रा सर इफ अ कंपनी वांट्स टू गेट लिस्टेड वेर इज इट गिवन प्रोसीजर इज गिवन इन सक्रा got it uh, sir third one people it deals with contracts and securities what is this people buying and selling today if i want to trade how anyone hey, do you guys trade at a anyone buys sells shares do you guys have uh, dmat accounts you guys have a uh, you, you trade at a uh, which shares you have da uh? wipro you trade or you just invest long term Short term, ah, uh, you made money or lost money? Made. Made. Right. Then why did you come, da? Ah, uh, with which one you made? Ah. Uh. This is the great from broker. Ah. That I got huge profit. Huge profit. Huge. So one thing people always remember: start learning basics of stock exchange. I'm not telling you guys have to trade. See, trading should be your ultimate goal. Three years, five years, it is a ocean. You guys cannot learn everything, but start knowing about stock exchange. Why? People in the year two thousand, there was one stock. That stock price was around. Uh, you you take around ninety rupees. People when people in two thousand take in two thousand three, the stock price was ninety rupees. Yes, sir. In two thousand three, what was the gold price? Da any idea? Per per ten grams, huh? Now generally they tell it from ten grams. Now ten grams around sixty thousand. How much was it like back then? Four thousand, huh? Let us take easy to max five thousand, huh? Now it is gram, huh? Okay, let us take per gram, huh? Let us take five hundred. Why complicated maths, huh? Correct, huh? Okay. Ah, uh, FD, huh? FD let us not take also, or you want to take? FD let us take da. Let us imagine you guys invested one lakh. FD da. Nowadays they are giving you very good return. That is very good means seven percent and all they are touching. Maximum people six percent. Maximum. That is the maximum return FD can give you. Let us be very optimistic and let us take seven percent. Yes sir. Now we'll take now this number only back then also. Back then you did not have so much. Now last year only you did not have seven percent. It was around five point eight or six point two. Now you guys have around seven point one and all. Okay, real estate. Real estate. Oh, real estate is a big. It has grown really big. You guys know BTM? Have you guys been in Bangalore? Little here and there, guys. How many of you are uh, away from Bangalore? Okay. Hey, your local leader, you know, da. I keep seeing you here only. Native. <laughs> so people, okay. There is a place called BDM here only, near to Silk Board. Yeah. Ah, uh, in two thousand, two thousand one and all, you know, uh, here you call it per square feet. What is the cost is always seen per square feet. In two thousand people, per square feet was sixty rupees. Sixty rupees. That's all. BDM. You could have taken land at sixty rupees per square feet. You know any idea like now how much it is per square feet? People is around twenty five thousand rupees. Meaning what? If you want to build a small house, thirty forty site, you know, so try to do thousand two hundred into twenty five thousand rupees. If anyone can do a quick math, twenty five thousand into twenty five thousand. It's showing error. Huh? Day, why will it show error? Da, that's not a big number. It will come somewhere in crore. Thirty lakh. Ah, three crore. Ah, huh? three crore. Three crore. Ah, day. You are zero. Da, three crore. Ah, okay. Okay. Two thousand two hundred into sixty. So, thousand or lakh? So, if at all you had purchased the site by investing seventy-two thousand in two thousand, today that amount is three crore. Got it, ah? Sir, then real estate is business, sir. Then teach real estate for sir. 
the problem people with real estate comes the problems as well meaning litigation problems are there you guys have seen movies no you are that innocent person one villain will come put gun here kabza it happens it is very popular in india people will come you guys have to build a house as as quickly as possible so that is there so real estate is always a very good asset provided you know how to manage it yes sir sir in the same way there was one share in 2000 at the price of 90 rupees per share yes sir now which is this share i am talking about people recently they achieved one milestone what was the milestone da the first stock of india to touch 1 lakh rupees per share mrf holds the record to touch 1 lakh rupees per share a first stock of india to cross 1 lakh now imagine people you had 72000 rupees only can you divide 72000 by 90 800 ah can you do 800 into 1 lakh 8 crore so if you had invested in land talking about btm very popular one that money could have become 3 crore if at all you had invested in mrf 72000 rupees today the value is 8 crore rupees did they do any short term trading did they do futures options nothing just invest and leave it 20 years i'm not telling for your grandchildren generation and all this will be your money only probably by that time you will be in your 40s hardly 40s so sir so what are you trying to tell today is that 2000 for you today is that 2000 in 2053 your children will sit and say na ma pa idha ha our parents were there they didn't do anything so today is that day meaning there are so many shares which are available to you at your dosa price at your pizza price itc less than 400 rupees it's around 400 rupees for sure a stock in 20 years it will see five six figures 100% 100% so now today is that day what i am trying to tell you guys have to know that is true you guys have to learn all this is there education everything is there but the stock market is all like a real game you need not have to you know uh, do short term trading and all they are risky but you guys have to start knowing about stock markets you guys have to learn about it why that's the real game but of course pros and cons are there meaning sir that time there was a very beautiful company many beautiful companies imagine if you had invested in kingfisher imagine if you had invested in satyam computers imagine if you had invested in uh, air india imagine if you had invested in s bank so pros and cons are there so you guys need to know but if someone cheats yes no one can save you but that is there even if you buy a land if someone comes and takes it you have to fight in the court so the risks are there but better know it because it gives you that return right in the point now today after the class check what is itc share price yes sir i think it's somewhere on 420 yeah okay let us take today it is 420 at the end of the day once we finish this slcm classes tell me what is the share price of itc we'll only see what is the opportunity cost what we missed it is a point a simple stock let us try with itc at in the point like this i'll give you many stocks there is one more thing it is very good ambuja cements so there are stocks like that but i'm not they no market advisors guy if you lose it is your money only don't comment and all sir is giving sir is cheating and all it is your money do it as per your research at in the point all of you yes now whenever i'm talking about this buying and selling who will who will set procedures for all of this that is what is set by the third one it deals with contract and securities what is contract i'm talking about buying and selling here if a person wants to buy and sell meaning what if i purchase a stock today then within how many days it will it will i get the stocks will i get it immediately is it like metro cash and carry so there is some procedures involved yes sir so where is it all given it is all given in sakra so this is what sakra gives about scope three things first one people how to start a stock exchange that is recognition of stock exchange 
Listing of securities, third one is contract and securities. Is clear all of you? Pakka, 100%. Okay. Right on the next one, non-applicability of Sakra. Meaning, this act will not apply to certain people. Are you able to understand it? All of you are able to understand? Just write down this one line here. Pro Section 28. Provision of Sakra shall not apply to. Provision of Sakra shall not apply to. Sir, should we remember sections in uh, SLCM? <laughs> no. So, I will tell you, if you look at guideline answers, what is guideline answer given by your institute? You have to write your answers as given by your institute. Your institute says you have to write your uh, sections as well as regulation. Yes. But sir, is it possible? Promise on all of you, it is not possible. Why people? In company law, it's a different game. Why? Company law as well as setting up of business entities, almost 30 chapters, everything put together revolves around Companies Act only, only one act. Here, EBCL though, don't even ask this question. Why? First, try to remember the act name in EBCL. That's the strategy. First, you have to remember the EBCL Act's name. Contract Act, Sale of Goods Act, because every act has year. Companies Act 2013, like that every act has year. So, what happens eventually from students point of view, remembering sections is difficult. Uh, wherever it is here and there, if I only tell you it is important, try to remember that. Getting the point, all of you. But unlike company law, I will not stress more on sections here. Clear? Because it is not possible. Two things people, sections and penalties. It's okay, don't worry. Even if they ask, it's okay. Two or three marks they'll ask. Don't worry. Company law, did they ask? Huh? How many How many marks? That's all. But to remember that, you guys have to do one Mahabharata. Adi Purush only should come. If not, it is not possible. Why people? Every section has a penalty. So at the end, you will have to see at least 100 penalties. Will we able to, will we able to remember? Difficult. So... It is okay. Three marks maximum they'll ask, it's okay. It's a conscious decision we take, it's okay. It is the point all of you. Okay, non-applicability of Sakra. So Sakra provision shall not apply to the government, RBI, local authority, Corporation set up, I'll be writing three, corporation set up by special law. Convertible bonds or share warrants. Or any options or rights which entitles a person, which entitles a person in whose favor. It was issued for such conversion for such conversion on basis of on basis of price agreed price agreed.
when it was issued when it was issued cg may cg may in the interest of trade in the interest of trade and commerce may specify may specify any class any class of contracts to which the provisions shall not apply na ab beta to sakra basically whoever comes up with ipo what is ipo we saw no scope of sakra second one what did we see whenever a company wants to list its security sakra is applicable however if these people are coming up with listing meaning if they want to issue securities to public for them sakra is not applicable meaning they can do it lot more easily when compared to a normal person who the first person is government if government wants to issue any bonds will they issue you guys would have heard something called as treasury bills commercial papers government bonds sovereign bonds heard of it all of these are again in instruments securities why does the government issue because they would be in need of money if they want to issue they can't keep following such big procedures and all so for them they are telling it is exempted they need not follow second one if rbi raises money why to follow it's a supreme body for them also sakra not applicable third one local authority what is local authority municipalities your for example if you if i take village panchayats now say for example uh, if i take uh, bangalore bbmp you know this municipality boards and all now if they want to do it again for them also not applicable the next one people corporation set up by special law what is this statutory companies what is that example yeah. icsi ha huh. icsi ha yeah. lic ha huh. what is statutory company so every company is a separate body they have an act to regulate them people now for example if at all i want to start a company in india there is a act given that is called as companies act in that there is a person that is called as roc i should write an application to him if he is satisfied he will say okay and from tomorrow i can start a company in india but if our nation thinks if at all a government i mean say for example india wants a particular company a body corporate why will the government follow all this procedures then what will they do they will just pass one act in the parliament because of that act one company itself will come into picture they will not follow all these procedures such companies are called as statutory companies or corporations set up by special laws example lic icsi icai rbi all they are body corporates only they did not go to roc and all to start a company then how did they do rbi act was formed a sebi da sebi itself is a body corporate how did sebi come into picture your second chapter sebi act 92 was passed because of that sebi came into picture sebi is also a body corporate it's a company it's a corporation now if sebi only wants to do all this sebi will not follow sakra and all that is what they are telling understood da the next one sir convertible bond or share warrants this convertible bond share warrants options rights and all we'll be seeing a little while later not now share warrants and all it's a detailed uh, discussion to be more specific we'll be ha huh. which one the corporation set up by special law ha huh. no no government company is different government company comes under a normal company only ha huh. so government company 
they will also have to write an application to ROC. They are not special and all. The best example is ONGC or for example is SBI or if I have to tell you BSNL. All these are government companies. Then why? What is the difference? It's a normal commercial companies who are making profits in which government is having the maximum shareholding. RBI, it's not a commercial company. SEBI, not a commercial company. Are you getting the difference? ICSI, are they commercial company? If you say yes, I'll hit you. Yes, sir. They collect fees and all, no? Da? They give book, books. 10,000. I'll only give you give to that books. Your exams are conducted. Your valuers are there. Valuation happens. Who will pay? How much you pay? Da? How much will the valuer take? Da? Your valuers are who? Who are your valuers? People, whichever are your theory subjects, they are all your eminent professionals who have cleared your respective exams. If they have to go, who is your, if they say for example, invigilator, who is invigilator? That college principal won't come. It's again a CS only. Allah, day, I'm not talking about the person who will be there in the class. Once in a while, squad, there will be a, in, ah, they are CS only. Why will they come on a working data? What will I get? Hey, not I do it. <laughs> yes, sir. Mohan is like, sir, come to our class, sir. So, where are they getting money for all of this? Now, for example, you guys know chapter, Bangalore ICSI chapter. Have you seen that building? Yes, sir. Now, library facilities are there. Now, where are they getting money for all of that? So, ICSI is a body, they are not commercial in nature. They will take money from you, they will give it back to you only, in one way or the other. Huh? Indirect way. Huh. It's a body corporate, yes, that is, uh, yeah. So, IRDA is set up under IRDA Act only, setting up of business entities. Correct. Understood? Huh? Uh, under that LIC was not formed, LIC was formed as LIC Act only. So, so that's also body corporate, this is also body corporate. It is a point, uh, okay. So, convertible bond, share warrants and all, we will be seeing little while later, but I will tell you what is the gist. Convertible bond means people, today I will give you say for example a debenture. Tomorrow it gets converted to equity. If at all any such bonds are given, they are telling those bonds are not covered under Sakra. So if at all there is any bond given, which can get converted to a another security. Imagine a debenture gets converted to equity. They are telling you such securities are not governed under Sakra. Why people? This conversions and all happen based upon private agreements between the individuals. For example, do you guys watch Shark Tank? That YouTube Shark Tank and all. Yes, sir. Watch it, Illa. Okay. Watch that Shark Tank and all. Basically, if you have an idea, they will come and invest and all of that will happen. So, whenever a person is buying convertible debentures, the person who is investing money and the company, they both will accept the money and give securities with their own terms and conditions. So they will not be in a way or they will not be in a position to follow Sakra. If you directly want to go for listing, for that Sakra has given you what are the terms and all. But when it comes to convertible debentures, it happens on private agreements. So if I, if I say that Sakra will, uh, for, you know, the uh, convertible debentures, even they have to follow Sakra, then what will happen? There will be no liberty given to the individuals who are investing. So to avoid that, what they do? They have said that the convertible bonds for them, Sakra is not applicable. But in detail, what a share parents and all will be doing. Chapter 15, there is one part only called as capital market instruments. In detail, we'll be doing. Is clear all of you? Yes, we'll see what is all of that. Next one, CG may in the interest of trade, what is this people? It is like etc. Meaning, 
tomorrow central government comes and say a for zomato it is not applicable for zomato it is not applicable so cg can extend the list whenever they deem fit so the last one is just like etc is clear huh? so for them this act is not applicable they can do it without following any sections of the law is clear huh? done now huh? okay and the next one definition the first definition but before you do this let us see something you guys want to just know or you guys want to understand what is the situation and then know what is there in the book huh or let us just see what is there in the book and finish it off avala illa but october 15 is a dead day deadline to understand this particular chapter you guys need to know what was the situation why did they introduce this laws now you guys are sitting in a digital era and i'll be teaching you some concepts which is like nowhere relevant you guys will feel like why are we doing all this now it is nowhere relevant i am only telling you then why should we know because it's there you need to know second thing it is important from your exam point of view third one it says for today's stock market whatever you guys are doing in your fingertips how did it even start so all this that is what is in this uh, video to start or somewhere to regulate all of this they made your sebi act that is why the uh, acts were passed so that all this will not happen but if you guys see this it's uh, you guys will understand better Ah, uh, focus da. Now what we are seeing is nineteen ninety two. Now we are in nineteen ninety two. See that time also we had tender coconuts. Welcome to Long Bay, a trading post for centuries, gateway to India and one of the jewels of the British Raj. No stranger to commerce and trade, it's a city that has wholeheartedly embraced the new capitalism. A city where even the billboards urge punters to invest. What is it, da? Welcome to Bombay. A city where even the billboards urge punters to invest. What is it, da? So, nowadays have you seen such boards, da? Zomato also came for IPO. LIC came for IPO. Barbecue Nation came for IPO. What is that billboard? What is the content? Read. Who oh, public issue? Of course, people back then. If you just go to Bombay, in a month, in a month, seventy companies used to get listed. Every month, seventy companies. by the end year end people more than 500 600 companies used to get listed on bombay stock exchange i did the point yes it was so vigorous now it is not the case people hardly in a month we'll get one or there are months where there are no ipos also yes so back then advertisement used to happen like this in your private company definition you can see one uh, point what is that prohibits advertisements this is what it is get in the point ah huh? so going back to that era okay now read what is there this the frenzy energy of bombay business shown more than here at the stock exchange Brothers now how do you guys trade da huh? you guys have demat accounts no what are demat accounts da huh? now if you guys want to send money to your friend you guys need bank account in the same way if you want to buy shares you need demat account okay now what are the examples da demat accounts zaroda upstocks all the banks grow fi paisa there are many yes now these people are your uh, you know demat accounts basically they are like your brokers through them you guys deal 
you cannot directly access stock exchange you need a mediator so you cannot directly go and reach out to bombay stock exchange or your nsc national stock exchange you need a mediator so you tell it to them they do the trading for you understood so today that is your app okay let us ask uh, harsha vardhan now today if i want to buy a security a share what is the time that it takes 915 the stock market opens now if i want to buy to complete a transaction the second is buy ticket if you if you know how to do it people you can buy a share in 5 seconds how much let us see in 1992 how much time was needed what was happening getting the point huh? see how vigorous it will be there see there This is share trading as it used to be, where brokers are elevated to the status of cult heroes and regulation spurned. <laughs> For two hours every day, broker Sundaran has climbed onto the trading floor. <laughs> what is that, da? Huh? They are doing. They are doing something. What is this? They are doing something like this. So. This is a sign language of Bombay Stock Exchange. What does that mean? He is telling, I am willing to buy the share at 85 rupees. If I want to sell it, it is 87.5 rupees. Two and a half rupees is the margin. This is the sign. Two rupees. This is 2.5 rupees. Yes. So I am telling you from where are we coming? so imagine in that wherever they are standing they are, they were all standing that is called as trading ring that is where trading happened now i wanted to buy shares imagine back then there was reliance there was tata i wanted to buy tata can i go and stand in the ring no but if you want you have to get it through ring only you cannot get it in any other way you have to go to that ring there is no other way how to go to the ring you have to go to that place there will be brokers you need to approach a broker sir i want to buy 10 tata shares can you please help me he will take your request and he will go to the ring and he will start asking i want to buy tata he will give a number if anyone sees the hand so someone would be willing to sell so that broker this broker meets they both write it on a paper we'll see Ah, in a day, I'm telling about ninety-two. New York Stock Exchange, London Stock Exchange, and uh, you take only these two. These two put together, they were less than what is the volume that was traded in Bombay Stock Exchange. In a day, we used to do around two hundred crore worth transactions. I'm talking about ninety-two. Yes. Okay. What are they for? That means we were paying eighty-five. They are selling at eighty-seven and a half. Two-way code. Swap side. Swap side. Half year on. So when the first week comes, they get. Then go to the other. Is it done? 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 In this Harshad Mehta made seven thousand two hundred crore. Who's bums, ah? Huh? Ah. Can you see that book? A bomb exploded in Bombay. In 94, there was a bomb explosion also. If you remember, uh, in 1994 there was a bomb explosion. Uh, regional fights and all happened. Religious fights and all. Uh, in Bombay Stock Exchange, in front of it, there was a bomb as well. Around uh, overall in Bombay, I think 300, 350 people passed away. But next day also people came for trading. 
this the market was still running that's the beauty of stock exchange it is the point uh, killing 350 the very next working day the exchange was open for trading as normal it's not just the brokers and high flying financiers though who make this place tick market is going yeah going very up very high indians rich and poor are men from what they are issue right a miracle that anyone gets anywhere you know what is that what is that ipo application today you know how you apply for ipo application ipo is like if a company comes up with a fresh issue you guys there is how much time da ha huh? so i take around people 10 seconds 10 to 15 seconds that's a maximum time slowly like this if you check each detail and if you type people maximum 1 minute your ipo is submitted ipo is basically initial public offer a company issuing shares to the public for the very first time it's called as ipo so if i want to buy any company share today the maximum time it takes for me is 1 minute i can just apply you know how it happened back then so why i am telling you all this this will help you to understand what you guys are going to see so today's date if you sit in a digital era and try to read 1956 act obviously nothing will make sense that is the point okay so these are ipo applications okay on the street india's equivalent of wall street the blocks around what do you mean by dalal street dalal street heard of it huh? dalal means people broker that's how bombay stock exchange itself started that's only called as dalal street it's a famous your uh, part of your mumbai that is what is called as dalal street okay a script was google is giving you an application for some new share issues new share issues see how many companies are there capitalism and you just do their done it's like cashing on the action and so like this there are over 50 share issues on offer very nice so like 50 shares 50 new companies are getting listed on that day 50 companies da i am talking about can you see the growth if you guys know your uh, social lpg liberalization privatization globalization 92 50 companies on a single day coming for ipo today if one company comes it's just like your big stars movie if he is coming today another hero will not come just like that no if vijay comes ajit won't come if allu arjun comes mahesh babu won't come if darshan comes sudeep doesn't come shahrukh khan comes salman khan correct ah will the same heroes release on the same day no that's how now that is how it is followed 50 companies get in the point this is okay by india and finance but the market is so active that much share issues are unsubscribed in the end only a few countries actually get their hands on the share look at the work done remember this share applications are serially numbered why we'll see which is the share in the market there only i'll tell you one fraud arshad mehta did arshad mehta created his own application he only created his own allotment So why should a company give? I'll only allot myself. One of the fraud Ashad Mehta did. So they have tried to cut down that also. How we'll see? That is how serially numbered. So meaning, if I have given him application number one, if I have given you application number two, if I have given you application number three, what if I create another application with application number three? There are two. So his will also be put on hold. Mine also will be put on hold. Both of us will not get allotment. It is the point. what is he telling he comes and asks i want to take part in any ipo suggest me some company he is telling go with aditya birla <coughs> that time he suggesting and see what he says a normal person walking on the road financial capital what is a blue chip for blue chip da blue chip companies mean blue chip means people the company shares are very highly priced if you are a small cap they are all the price is very small now for example s bank is 15 rupees punjab national bank is 51 rupees itc is 400 rupees 
uh, whereas MRF is a blue chip, one lakh rupees. That, that's called a blue chip. That is what he's trying to tell. Like a private service, you know, you take a uh, double money in three months. Double money, will you show that? Believers today, your money will be doubled in three months. Even when you've got status, your battle to get in on the action is not over. The queue, the banks, the registry. You know what is that queue? Just to submit your IPO application. What is the time I told you now to apply IPO? Five seconds. And you know what? By the time the last, this just they will show you one way. The, the queue used to go for five, six, seven kilometers if it's a very good company. Reputed company. Six kilometers, da. And by the time he reaches the bank, that day the banking hours would have been over. He will have to again come back tomorrow. What are is what is the age we are seeing? What what was happening? Are you getting a okay? Look at the queue to go on lift. Whenever you guys have time, there is one video here. Can you see this working of stock exchange? BSC, just try to watch that video. Uh, it's made by BSC only. It's a very beautiful video. You guys will even understand better what happens in the background. You guys will just place buy and sell. What happens in the background? You you will see that in uh, the working video. It is the point. Right now, huh. yes, people write down. Definition, write down, Pantman, corporatization. Corporatization. What do you mean by corporatization? Body of individuals or society succession to company form of stock exchange company form of stock exchange Again, this is also stock exchange on it. For controlling assisting regulating of buying comma selling and dealing and dealing in securities by individuals by individuals or society. This is corporatization. Copy it down. Huh? Write on the second definition there only. Demutualization. Demutualization. Demutualization means what? Segregation. Segregation from 
members three things what is that one is ownership next one is management trading rights trading rights okay da yes ha okay now we will when was sakra pass it was in the year 1956 correct ha when was bombay stock exchange formed any idea 1992 how did you know da yes sir a oh, video it was shown na oh. okay so bombay stock exchange people was formed in the year 1855 perfect yes sir so bombay stock exchange was formed in the year 1855 1850 asia's alla asia's oldest stock exchange is bombay stock exchange da in 1992 nsc was formed bsc was formed in 1855 that time we used to call it as native share and stock broker association that was a name of bsc in 1855 there was one ban entry under that one bell was there ringing that 22 brokers started something called as today's date whatever is called as bombay stock exchange that's the reason even today that that road itself is called as dalal street the ban entry wherever it is there opposite to it is now where bsc situated Any the point, ah, sir? What are you trying to tell, sir? Twenty-two individuals were the owners, were the brokers, they were the directors. Everything them only, meaning they formed something called as Native Share and Stock Brokers Association. Now they will only take the you know orders from the clients. Now they will only come to the ring. Now they are only brokers, intermediaries basically. now this native share and stock broker association who are the owners those 22 people only okay now something like a directors meeting and all should happen someone should now in a company now today i am a shareholder of reliance will i take decision no there is directors in the company like that for this native share and stock broker association the directors were also those 22 people only sir so what people when everything is given to the same individual they will end up misutilizing the power you are the broker you are the owner you are the decision maker so in 1956 when sakra came into picture the first thing they said is that going forward if you want to start a stock exchange you cannot be a association you cannot be a partnership you cannot be a trust you cannot be some uh, body of individual society and all not possible then going forward there should be accountability the maximum accountability in india which form of business has company has because even that is governed so in 1956 they made a law what is that going forward if at all anyone wants to open a stock exchange you guys have to mandatorily do it in the form of a company no more society no more associations this was not allowed get in the point ah so what do you mean by corporatization meaning it should be in the company form of business what did we write what did we write body of individuals or society that is what was native share and stock broker association in 1855 succession means they have to transform succession stands for transform convert to what to company form of stock exchange so earlier it was society form of stock exchange they have to convert to a company form of stock exchange sir for what sir for controlling assisting regulating end of the day what is stock exchange doing buying selling dealing in securities now this definition is called as corporatization sir so end of the day what did corporatization achieve what did they achieve they achieved demutualization what do you mean by demutualization sir back then everything the power was given to one person so the owner was also him only a trading broker was also him only 
he was only the director also now what did they do from one person they segregated all the powers now the broker is different owner is different the managing body is different that concept is called as demutualization so corporatization and demutualization it it basically serves a twin goal demutualization says you guys have to split the power corporatization says that no longer it should be in a informal business it has to be in a formal business that is a company form of business so in 1956 sakra was passed in 1957 bsc was formed so bombay stock exchange word came into picture in 1957 but did nine, I mean, Bombay Stock Exchange, when did it come into existence? It's not 1957. You guys have to take it in 1855 itself. That is when it was started. They just changed the way it was done in 1957 because of corporatization. In 1992, obviously, the law was already there. NSC started as a company only. BSC and NSC are companies. Uh, SBI is the majority shareholder in this Bombay Stock Exchange and National Stock Exchange because they are also companies. Getting the point all of you. Now see what is today's case. Ownership means what? I am talking about shareholder. Trading rights is with whom? Trading rights is always with member. Always remember for first chapter alone, for Sakra chapter alone, Member means broker. After this chapter is done, member means shareholder. Only for this chapter, we will be writing member. Member here means broker. Or you can write it as mediator. Papa, let us give some respect. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Management means people, it's a governing body. We call it as a governing body. Understood? Huh? Understood corporatization and demutualization. When your uh, syllabus came, they were asking these questions. They may ask commentary based questions. What is corporatization? What is demutualization? Two or three marks question. Comment based questions can come understood all of you now once you guys understood this now try to read the definition of stock exchange let me know if you guys understand definition of stock exchange clear huh? correct huh? so what is a stock exchange before corporatization and demutualization meaning before 1956 how was the stock exchanges carried on? Body of individuals, whether incorporated or not. So society was there, uh, body of individuals were there, associations were there. So that was also called a stock exchange only. After corporatization, demutualization came, a body corporate incorporated under Companies Act. Meaning now company form of business is mandatory, optional Allah. Getting the point? Huh? So NSC was directly formed as a company. But BSE was first an association, then became a company. So whether previously you were association, you are also a stock exchange. After these concepts were introduced, any company, even they are also a stock exchange. Understood all of you? Why? End of the day, same. Car, what is that? Controlling, regulating, assisting. What? Buying, selling, dealing in securities. Understood? 100% all of you. Pakka. People, in your books, just see whether... The definition of securities. Under that, do you have this word amended? Do you have it? All of you have it? Okay, write down. Recognition of stock exchange. Recognition of stock exchange. A company form of
a company form of stock exchange they have to file an application application for recognition for where will we file we will file it with central government can write now sebi along with this application there should be certain documents filed documents plus copy of rules copy of rules regarding governing body of stock exchange power and duties of office bearers admission from a suspension from a expulsion of members expulsion of members along with this we will be giving undertaking now central government on being satisfied grants grants recognition by publishing in official gazette by publishing in official gazette it becomes a recognized stock exchange it becomes a recognized stock exchange becomes a recognized stock exchange the na the na still one thing go for a break after the break we'll see what else